In this demonstration, we'll review the new functionality in Microsoft Dynamics GP version 2013 to reconcile a checkbook to a general ledger control account. To begin, we'll start at the home page of Dynamics and navigate to the financial landing page, to routines, to reconcile to GL. One of the new features in GP version 2013 is the ability to save previous reconciliations. We'll open one of these up to see that in addition new functionality includes a summary at the bottom of this window. We'll go ahead and resave this reconciliation. Starting out with a new reconciliation We'll accept the reconciliation number. The reconciliation date will leave at April 30th. We can input or look up the reconciliation date range. The system assists us by assuming that we're reconciling the fiscal period, which in this case is the calendar month of April. In the module list, we'll see that we now have four modules available for reconciliation. The two new modules are Inventory and Bank Reconciliation. We'll choose Bank Reconciliation. As soon as we choose Bank Reconciliation, the screen changes and now we have a field to identify the checkbook ID. We'll go ahead and look up and select Uptown Trust in our demo data. The next field also auto-completes and is the location and name of the output file that the system defaults in. We can change either that location or the file name. I'll go ahead and override the default. Now that our basic information is in, we can see that the system has provided the account number linked to the checkbook Uptown Trust. In a payables or receivables reconciliation, you may add additional accounts here dealing with discounts. Usually a bank account is a single general ledger account linked to a single checkbook. So we'll leave the account number alone and we're ready to go ahead and process. Because our data set is relatively small, it takes just a moment for our Reconciliation Excel workbook to appear. We have two major sections to the worksheet. On the left hand side is the bank reconciliation transactions. On the right side are the general ledger transactions. In addition, our worksheet is divided into other areas, the first one being unmatched transactions. Further down, we find a section on potentially matched transactions. In this case, there are none. Our third section is matched transactions. The last section at the bottom of the spreadsheet is a summary total. Going back up to the top of the spreadsheet, we have drill down capability on all of the transactions in the worksheet. We can simply click on those links and bring up a Dynamics GP Zoom window with the exact transaction. From there, we can look at the distribution and determine if this particular transaction needs correction. This ends our demonstration of the new functionality in Dynamics GP 2013 to reconcile checkbooks to a general ledger control account.